what's up how you doing welcome to my youtube channel in this video we're going to basically build in this url but we're going to start with this top and the but and this part here so basically we are going to be ending up with this result in this video all right so if you are out please make sure you like subscribe and just get started all right so in the last section we looked at authentication system for our api so looking at the um ui i noticed that there's a lot to there's not like a lot to start off with by building the api so i decided why not to just start with the what we finish up with the ui then we can go ahead and start consuming the api as it seems because there's nothing too much going on because we need a place to be able to post we don't have that right, right now so i think we should just start with the ui so for this part of the video section we are going to be starting with this particular home page so I have my emulator running already. So you make sure you have your own running. And in our um in our file editor, which is right this one, I'm going to open up our folder. Remember the folder that we created inside um the general projects folder. So I'm going to open up a folder which is um GC app. Yeah, which is GC app. Select folder. Got so this is our flutter folder. So I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to go ahead and um run our our projects. Okay, so I'm going to run my project. All right, so uh, what I want to go ahead and do is I'll click on the run button. Then this is going to start launching the application on our emulator. So let's wait for this to finish up. All right, amazing. So we have our project up and running, which is um, basically this count application that we have on the screen. So the first thing I want to do is uh. Like I said, I want to go ahead and build on the first page. So looking at this, we realize we need um some stuff. So we need to check. Let's check uh, what for type of font this is. So I know um the type of font this is. This is uh I believe this is a font right, which is Maro. Okay, hopefully it's a Google font. So let's check if it is Google font. Google font man all right so it's a google font right good so you know what let's just get started so the first one today is um this um background color here yeah? is there where i can grab the background color because we initially we need the background color so you just look for a way to grab it oh wow so i can grab it i think but this plus button is a background color so i'm just going to click on the plus button um uh, which is this I believe okay which is this right here so if i go ahead and click edit style then i can uh, basically just copy the color in that place good so once it's done what i can do is um in our lib folder here let's go ahead and have um, um a folder i call common then i can have a file called constant dot that basically it's a constant stuff that will not change so i want to have constant uh we can just call it um add a color or let's call it um up blue so because you know there's blue in many places i'm calling it add a color um when is when we are not using it in other places it's going to be conflicting a little bit so let's do that okay so once we have this remember we have to import some material all right cut beautiful so once it's done, what we can do is um, in our lib folder here, yeah, let's go ahead and create a file called pages. And now uh, pages here, you want to have a file called home.dat. So you want to have home.dat. And um, you want to have uh, want to import, import our package. So we're going to do import. Or basically, you can just go ahead and have um, stateful widgets but let's first import our package and we import them stateful widgets and can call this one page all right good so what we can do now is um, in this place here we can go ahead and just delete everything here we can call this my app okay then we can go ahead and delete all this also plus this so this will be home page instead. That we can just gotta add constant here that we can move it right there. Okay, good. 
so that should refresh our our app and we can have this now so what next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and remove the debug mode uh, check mode panel which is the banner at the top right here so can see it has disappeared good so we have our first thing so what I want to do is um, I want to make this a like scaffold with a body a body of whatever color all right good so you have a children so the first child we want to have is what is a container so why are we going to have a container because i'm um, looking at the design you'll notice that we have this big blue kind of source. so this is a container that has a height to a specific size so that's what i'm going to believe so that's what that we're going to do so let's go back to our file so we can go ahead and give it the width let's say a width should be um let's say double dot infinite so basically it takes out your screen then we can go ahead and give it an height let's say 100 instead we can say color then we can call our app blue so basically app blue oh what did i name it yeah i named it app blue so we, we need to import app blue okay so how can we import this we can do import import um common common all right slash constants all right very good so we should save this you can see we have our blue there so the, basically the height is a little bit small so let's try 500 you can see we have that but that is actually too big so 300 should work exactly so exactly what we need very good now inside we want a text uh which is a row so we have a text and an icon in this place so you can go ahead and have um, a child so the child is going to be a column at first all right so inside this column there we can go ahead and have our row so what's the first row we want to have we want to have our text that says a i just say precious all right then we can go ahead and have an icon maybe basically icon.cut i believe there's icon.cut okay there's no icon.cut so let's try um, icons dot that's all right cuts no cuts so let's do shop okay uh we can use shop initially for now okay let's use shopify you go so let's use shopify you go then we can go ahead and do main axis alignments basically to space them between each other so we should be having them separate from each other you can see it's at the top there so we can see it so what we can do is um we can wrap um column with a safe area so you can wrap it with widget and can call this a safe area all right now it's wrapping with the safe area it's pushing down the uh our color so that's what we want to do we want to wrap this container instead of the safe area so after wrapping the safe area, i also like wrapping it with the padding also to give it extra more space um yeah that work okay that didn't work actually sorry okay i think we should wrap this okay rather than wrapping this with safe area now let's wrap the padding we can have a go ahead and have symmetric i can have horizontal horizontal to be 20. okay the let's go and have on vertical let's also give it 20. okay almost so this vertical here we can I just make it 30 i believe so we can see what we want to see good then now uh, we can make this on 10 because that one looks a little big to break all right good now in our text here we can have style we can have text style so our text style here we're going to give it a color colors or white basically then we're going to give it font size let's just say 25 all right so save this and uh very good and um basically this one we just have to give it color colors or twice and if you also want to increase the size remember you can use the size and um 
give it a certain size. So we're just going to give it 20. Okay, so 20 looks small. Uh, that is interesting. Alright, so I'm just going to give it a body instead. Alright, very good. So we have that. So next you want to look at we, don't worry, we are going to work on this one stuff later in the future. Was, let's also work on it um, our text, our input field. So under the row, we can have a size box with an height of let's say 30. Okay, so we can have our constant there. So what we want to have is our container. We want to go ahead and have a container, right? A container that is going to be decorated. Okay, the container is going to be decorated. So let's do box decoration. Before that, we want to go ahead and have our width should be double dot infinite. Okay, good. So in our box decoration here, the first one to do is set our border radius. So border radius should be a uh, circular. Let's give it fifty. Because it looks like it was very very rounded to the to the fullest. Look at it. Very good. And uh, once that is done, we can have a child. So this child here we're going to have input field. Uh sorry, is it text field instead? Okay, we're going to have text field. And we're going to have a uh, decoration. Input decoration. What's also have is border. Use the input border that's not so basically we don't want to have border we want to decorate our text field with our container so that's what we're going to do we should save this so we have uh we should have a text field somewhere there you can see that this field is there but we can't see it so what we want to do is uh hopefully i can get this color okay so this is the color here I'll copy that let's go to our constant and let's do const dark blue so this is um, dark blue okay the arc oxff paste let us save your file my system is a little bit slow i don't i don't know why today Anyways, let's continue. So here we can have a um, decoration, we can have color, we can call it dark blue. All right, so hopefully we should save this. That's why we have a dark blue there. So next one it is what basically at a in text. So in our text field, we can go ahead and have a int text. So where's our int text gonna be search products. All right, so save this. We should have it there. You can see it's also it's also black, so we need to start that. So you can say install. We have textile colors dot white, and it looks a little bit too big. So let's do font size. Let's give it fifteen point zero. All right, so save this. We should have that beautiful. And um, there's also something we need to add, which is suffix icon. Icon. Let's call it icons dot search. The way to call this color should be colors dot white. All right. Good. So let's save this. Okay. So suffix is um at the end. Sorry, I I don't mix it. So instead, we want to have prefix icon. Okay very good so we are done with our power of it so basically i'm not like trying to replicate everything as to ways but just do what we can do next one to have is uh this so basically we don't need this part on our application so i think i'm just going to exclude our parts that we're going to move to this pattern or we'll end the video there but before we move to that part we notice that our container is a little bit too big without doing it so let's Make this 200 instead. All right, so this 200 is a little bit better. Good. So, what we're going to do is after this container, basically, that is best. That is what we're going to do. So, we're going to have a cost size box. 
with an height of 40. Then we're going to have a container. A container right with a child that has a color children. So all the children on first in the one you know, we need we, we need a rule. Why? Because we are going to have our text and the currency that is right there. Our text and currency that is right there. So we're going to have a, a text that says 345. Sorry, 345. We can style this. I say text style. We got our font size should be 30. Also, should be 30 and um, color should be colors dot black should be colors dot black all right and also have a um, font way so our font way should be bold okay very good so you should save this and what are we getting we should be getting this particular stuff here Okay, very good. So what we want to do is what we basically want to copy um, this color also, which is um, primarily light yellow. So we can name our color something like that. We can call it um, light yellow. So let's go to constant. We want to have constant light yellow. Is equals to color O X F F. Okay. Then make sure to save that and here we can go ahead and have our container decoration box decoration because you, know, you can see it's a little bit rounded so we're going to give you border radius then all right let's go ahead and give you a color which is on light yellow so save this and that's what we have right not bad, so we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, now, next we need is um, USD. So this is 346. So the next we need is um, USD actually. So we're going to have USD. Font way should be font with a thing. There's nothing like that, so let's do font with 300 instead. Okay, so let's save this. Now we should be having that. And what do we need again? The total savings so we are want a text after our row which says your total savings I'm going to paste this again all right I can have your total savings um okay yes so we can reduce this to 20 and this should be like weight 300 or so so let's save this and see bravo so that's what we want but we want it to not be like that so we want to make sure our pause as it's meant to be at the what at the start so it's going to basically push it to the side just like this i, I think we should reduce the font size a little bit so i'm going to, I'm going to stick with 16. very good then inside our container here we want to pass a padding All right, so I'm going to give it 10.0. All right, so which is which is decent. So let me just give it a night. Let's say 50. Okay, it is the it is overrated. Let's give it 150 instead. That's big. 100 should be okay. All right, so 100 seems um, better. Um, hopefully, hopefully I can center this also. So let's make axis alignment the center. Oh uh, God, exactly. So that's what we want. I turn it a little bit too much. Let's give it five. Yeah, this is um, very good. So what we want to do now is um, basically where we have um this column here. Yeah, let's extract this as a widget and we can call this um tab widget right so we can call this tab widget and our pages 
let's create a folder called widgets create a folder called widgets okay then inside the widgets folder let's go to our tab underscore widget dot dot all right so i'm just going to basically cut everything from this place and i'm going to paste them right here do we have an error? Basically, we just have to import plotter. All right, good. So the error is gone. So what we want to take care of is our want to first take out the first text, which is going to be a long bar. So you can see first string. Uh, I'll call this text one. Okay. Text one final string text two all right then we need a final text to produce a final string text three and also our final color basically which is the background color i'm going to have a um, color okay very good so here yeah, we're going to make this text one I'm going to remove this constant so the constant is not needed so we're going to just add it here i'm going to make this um text two okay we're going to make this text three okay good and uh what do we need to do we basically need to uh require them in this place so add it and we are good to go last thing we need to do is um the color all right so we need to add the color okay i just noticed i missed the color right in this place so what we can do is um we can wrap this in a container so we're just going to copy everything that is there so i'm just going to wrap this in a container all right so once that is wrapped in a container i can go ahead and just scrub everything here okay so this is going to be color instead all right and um yep we don't need this good so save this now we can head over here and call tab widget okay so I, like i told you my system is hanging so i have to put it to one already so there's a package gc app Pages, widgets, tab widgets, very good. So tab widgets. The first one is our text one. Or let us give that color, which is light yellow. All right. So we can go ahead and call text one, which is a uh, three forty six, and text two, which is a uh, USD. Then text three, which is a uh, your total savings. Right, so we should save this and let's see if we still have the same result. Yep, we still have the same result. And what we can basically do is um this one we can wrap it in a row. All right, so we can wrap this in a row instead. We can copy this, paste it again if you save. We can be having something like this. We can go ahead and have main axis alignments, main axis alignment, space between. We can have this. <laughs> all right and uh next we need to do is um, basically um so basically what i need to do is wrap this in the padding so symmetry i'm just going to give it horizontal horizontal 8.0 i think that should do it okay Good enough and you can see this this are not spaced like that so it's all spaced between so you're going to do space evenly so let's do space evenly exactly what we want and um, looking at it i think we can make it surrounded a little bit so let's make it eight all right so that one is good so we can just change the text which is 215 two one five 
from just hrs hours and i believe that is uh your time saved and um, the color basically just colors to, to gray dot with opacity let's use a point two instead new value constant value so remove this okay so let's save that and see exactly what we wanted very good um i feel like we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of padding the extra part in this so let's give it 20. uh has that worked how about i give it 30. okay works fine i just need to increase the eye to 120. all right so very good nice so we are done with this in the next tutorial we are going to be looking at um this particular section of the video so if you like this video please make sure you like subscribe see you next time peace